It's gonna be okay. I really don't. It's okay. I, I don't want to do this so review. Sorry. We have to. I, I, we said we would. I know, but. It's okay. I don't. I, Brent, what? How? The, one of them was. One of them was fun. One of them. One of them was fun. <sighs> it's okay. I'm Sean. I'm Aubrey. You're watching Boo on TV. TV. Facebook, and then the other we were kind of asked to do in person, just because it kind of goes with the other one. So this is an, a, a two for review for for you furs. I'm sorry. Tonight we're going to be reviewing two things. One, a short film called Cart. Thank God it was short. No, you liked Cart. Cart. You thought it was fun. You thought Cart was fun. Don't you lie. Cart was interesting. Cart is basically a short film made. Which college was it? U and UF. UF. U, uh, USF. UCF. UF. Somewhere in Florida. One of them big Florida, crazy expensive Florida colleges that a bunch of people really want to go to. Shopping carts that eat people. Yes. Yes, it all takes place around a grocery store. A grocery store during the graveyard shift. These people are about to close up. They're counting the money in the register. They're about to go home, and then the shopping cart, one a shop a shopping cart, snaps. Starts, snaps and starts to actually murder and eat people. This cart can do some pretty weird things, like hang from the ceiling. Oh, the cart can do weird things, unlike the. Thing in our next stupid fucking review? Yeah. Um, it can hang from the ceiling and attack you and eat doors off cars. Nom, nom, nom. It eats people. Yeah. Well, it just kind of... It chomps ...stabs people. you to death with its metal... It chomps. ...thingies. Yeah. But I, I thought it was cute. For a short college film, it was a quirky idea. It was actually really well executed... For no budget, because college films, let's be honest, don't really have a budget because they're poor college kids that live off ramen. I'll give you, for a college film, it was executed decently. I'm glad it was short because if, Me too. if it ran longer, if they forced it to run any bit longer... I would have hung myself. It would have dragged and it kind there's of, only so much that... It was only like 15 minutes. Which was about 10 minutes too long. You liked it. You mm -hmm. thought it was cute when we were... You even said so. Don't lie. The idea was cute. The premise was cute. It is not something I ever will choose to watch again. That's fine. No one's asking you to. However, I thought... Once in a fun. while, shopping carts snap because... They get abused by being run in. But all along, in. they're actually sentient things that think and feel, and all they want to do in life is hold your groceries. But they're really pissed off now because you constantly abuse them, so they're just going to go on a rampage and kill everybody. Once in a while. And then they multiply at the end. So it's basically like Dawn of the Dead, but with shopping carts. No, it is nothing like Dawn no. of the Dead. Dawn, Dawn of the, the Dead, Dead was an amazing film. No, here's the thing, though. Dawn of... Here's the How thing. are you going to compare 
Donna Amazing the Dead Romero or, zombies. Excuse me. The, to I, I'm going to compare it to the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Um, Even that. But here's the thing: the opening of Dawn of the Dead it starts with a little girl. It is just one zombie and two protagonists, right. and they are fighting the zombie and trying to get out of the house, and slowly. It kills, and then another person becomes a zombie, and then they kill, and then the woman gets out of the house, and then there's zombies everywhere, I'm and come to find out, there's zombies everywhere, and it's a zombie apocalypse. In cart, it's a shopping cart. It starts out one shopping cart and a small group of protagonists that all of a sudden everything everything starts out normal. It's just a normal evening, and all of a sudden people are being murdered by this. At first, harmless shopping cart. But no, it's not harmless. It's actually alive and trying to kill you for no particular reason. And then the one surviving protagonist goes outside. Well, no, there's two sur- surviving protagonists, sorry. Goes outside, and then it's a shopping cart apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay, so, skull rating, because I don't even really want to talk any more about this film. I... For a college short film. Yeah, 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 fuck that. The film, in general. Because I really don't want to waste more time on this piece of crap. Total film. Skull rating. Three and a half out of ten skulls. I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. I liked the premise. I liked that it was short. I wasn't instantly bored because it was just short enough to where it didn't feel like it dragged to me. Um, for a low, for a no budget college short film with actors and their own camera equipment and I'll their give own them that. special effects, I will give them that. Their own special effects. It was pretty good. I will give them that. For me, skull rating is about a point five, <laughs> and the point five only be only comes. Because it was, as Aubrey said, done on such a low budget and they managed to actually make it somewhat good. The premise is beyond stupid. But it's the it's in light of those cheesy 80s campy... Can you not imagine an 80s horror movie about a shop, killer shopping cart? Yes, but... It would have made more sense then. And point five. Um, I'm not saying that it's an absolutely horrible film like the next one we're about to review. Um, But I will also say that it is, it's something that I'm glad that I watched once. Everyone should at least watch it once. I will never watch this again if I have my way. Um... And the acting wasn't that bad for the subject matter. So, 0.5 from me, and yeah. Uh This movie was suggested to us by Professor Fate, who is one of the uh, gentlemen of the crypt. I don't know where the hell he fucking saw this from. Um... The premise, now granted before you even start, because I like Manos, The Hands of Fate, and Deathbed, The Bed That Eats, and all those. Yes, those are stupid premises. Premises. But that was the 70s. This, and it was accepted. This bullshit... This bullshit is some pseudo-surrealist nonsense that... It sums it up in the very beginning. During the whole monologue. No reason. No reason. Why? No reason. Why? Why does blah, 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 blah? No reason. It's it's surrealist. It's pseudo-surrealist nonsense. It is the movie called Rubber. Yep. What happens when a tire wakes up in the desert, becomes sentient, 
And goes on a murderous rampage. And goes on a murderous rape and rampage. With telekinetic powers. Telekinetic powers that when they explode people's heads sounds, sounds like, like cicadas. cicadas. I need more of this. Okay, this so... Go. I Go. The movie starts out... Hold. Just go. With a car swerving down a road I intentionally I don't even know what the fuck I'm... Intentionally trying to hit a bunch of chairs that are just set up in the middle Why? of a no desert reason. road. In the middle of a desert road. And then this guy steps out of the car once it stops and goes on this monologue about why people do things and blah, 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 blah. And the whole point of it is no reason. No reason. No reason. And apparently there is the audience of the film in the film. Watching the watching film it in of real the time. film. They have binoculars. And Why? No reason. no reason. And they're just staring off in the distance, watching this film that's happening in real time. And it's not even like a big mud truck tire. No, it's just a rander. It's like a fucking Subaru. A rander? It's a Subaru Mazda kind of tire. It's like a standard car tire. A tire! And it just wakes up. You know the way tires do. From the dirt in the desert and stands as tires do so. It kind of, it starts to roll around, has, it has trouble standing or being upright at first, but then, you know, kind of gets the good concept of what it is to move forward. I, I, and it, it discovers its lust of first crushing bottles. Yes. And cans. And then it finds a beer bottle, and it can't crush the beer bottle, so it explodes it with its tire mind or something. It realizes that it can explode things. It then goes on to explode rabbits and, and scorpions, scorpions and birds. And, birds. and eventually people. It also is a voyeur because it likes watching women take showers. Yes, it finds this one woman. And television! Who is apparently French or something, who is traveling down the road. Horrible actress. Hot, but horrible actress. And once it gets to this hotel, after some interactions with various different people and creatures that it kills, you know, it peeks its little tire face in. Treads? I... He watches her shower. Apparently it's a horny bastard. The most interesting scene in this whole movie... Is when the audience starts to die, I think. No, is when the tire looks at itself in a mirror and then has a flashback of its whole short life. Yeah. And it contemplates the life of a murdering telekinetic fucking tire! Yeah. Get out of the line! What? I, I don't... And, I, 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 and what, I'm just going to tell you, they attempt... The, whoever's in charge of this movie in the movie I, 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 attempts to kill the audience and does a great job of doing I that. I wish, I wish they would have killed me because when I was subjected, I would rather watch a 24-hour no popcorn or break viewing of Psyched by the 40 Witch than this goddamn fucking film. That's bad. But... Because at least Cindy... Is entertaining and Aunt Fanny's pudding tits. You get, I mean, di, di, you don't even get to see hot French chick bush. Do you even get to see boobs in this movie? No! You don't get to see anything in this movie except cicada sound, tire vibrating, head to explode. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, and the whole thing is they can't stop. The movie doesn't end until all the audience is dead, and I don't. What? Well, it, like I said, it's some pseudo surrealist bullshit. They're trying to be artsy fartsy just because. And fail. Yeah. There are lots of things that are artsy fartsy. That could have been artsy fartsy. In case you didn't hear that, that was a fart. And that was probably more existentialist Jean-Paul Sartre beatnik hipster in the real meaning of the word than this film. If I had to watch any movie about random inanimate murderous things I'd rather just watch Cart over and over because at least that had some quality to it. I'd rather watch The Stuff 
which is a great 80s film, which we have to review at some point because I don't think she's ever seen it, about murdering yogurt-like product. That makes more fucking sense. Or Halloween tire. or Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, with the little mask and the three more days till Halloween, Halloween. That made more fucking sense than this movie. Now, granted, I love existentialist stuff. I love mind fucks. I love things that make you go, the fuck did I just watch? This wasn't a, the fuck did I just watch? Like, the fuck did I just this watch? This was a, honey, what the fuck did you... What, why did we just watch this? Oh, Fate said so. That's why. Why did he, why did he suggest this? Did he? I, I, I know he didn't think we'd... I thought maybe he wanted us to watch it just because... Mm. I think because weird. I think because Megan suggested it to him, he wanted to torture us as much as he was tortured... So that he wasn't the only motherfucker that shared in this story. Wait a minute, I thought he wanted us to show it to her just so she'd be like, what the fuck? I don't know, but I'm never, never watching this film again. That hurt my brain. I don't want to talk anymore about this either. Skull rating. What skulls? Yeah, I... This, no, this movie gets the Jesus finger. Yeah, this movie gets the Jesus finger, and if you don't know what the Jesus finger is... The Jesus finger stands for this movie is so bad even Jesus hates you. Yep. Jesus Christ, the son of God hates hates you for even making this piece of ass fuck movie. And don't try to tell us. We just didn't get it. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 no you didn't get it because you're not intelligent. Really? It's not that we didn't get it. It's that it was a piece of fucking ass shit, fuck balls, ass cunt movie. It's like a fart out of my ass. This movie makes you have Tourette's because you find yourself using extreme expletive profanity that doesn't even make sense. But there, there's one meme that can just ex perfectly explain your face. I hate this movie! No. <laughs> Through the entirety of this film and... That, that, that... That's it. That, that's all you gotta say. You don't even... We're not going to rate it, because it's the no, Jesus finger. Yes, Jesus. I hate you. I hate this movie. And at some point, we'll get back to our normalcy here. I'm Sean. I'm Aubrey. You, sadly, have been watching a twofer for you for for fuck kill us here on... Kim, uh, meh. TV.